Today I'm going to be reading There's No Place Like Space All About Solar System by Tish Rabe, illustrated by Artie Steeds Ruiz. <clears throat> There's No Place Like Space. I'm the cat in the hat, and we're off to hot bun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There's no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in. Here we go. We will fly up so high we can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars and in case you have missed them, you'll see soon. The planets in our solar system. There are nine of these planets. The circle, the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury is close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy, with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here's a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is a third from the sun. It is our planet. Earth! It spins at all times, round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never will stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. In the in the earth always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it right now every day. Next, here is Mars. It's the color of the rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Mars. Travel to Jupiter and you'll find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would you think? It will float in the ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There's are, there are colors in space. I will show you some to you. Neptune, you see it's a beautiful blue. Neptune. If you lived on Pluto, it would not be nice. Some astronomers think it's covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and, uh, and all day. For the sun's just a speck in the scar, sky fly far away. An astronomer studies what's in the sky. Think two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. We all see all nine planets. Now here's a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say, Mallory, Valerie, Emily, meets us, just served us 999 pizzas. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Now here's the game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's the star dot to dot. Use your imagination and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. Great bear, Iranian, great dog, the bull, the lion. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball and it's not hot. And it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. The star called... The sun! From the earth, it looks big. There's no, there's one reason why. It's the closest to earth on the stars in the sky. But the careful and never look right at the sun, you'll... I, your eyes will get hurt, and that will be not fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute. A million of our Earth could all fit right in. 
Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first, we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror, it reflects the sun's light. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space, so I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go. Fly back up in the stars and take things one and two out to dinner on Mars. For there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky.